Hi, I'm Tony Tadero, and today I'm here at Goodmart to talk about Sora and our quality of light story. Sora has four basic elements that distinguish us from other manufacturers. It's, our, it's first our GAN on GAN technology, gallium nitrate on gallium nitrate. Second is our point source optics, which allow us to control the beam and keep it in the, the field as opposed to having spill light. Uh, the third is our VP3, violet primary emission with three phosphors, which allow us to emit light in the short wavelength, which give us that crisp whiteness, and also our VP3 full color spectrum, which allow us to emit light in the long wavelength, which gives us a 95R9. Now I'm going to go into each detail of these four elements. As you can see on the screen here, um, competitors use a different type of substrate compared to Sora. They take gallium nitrate and they deposit on a foreign substrate. As you can see on the screen, you see a lattice mismatch. It's like putting oil and water together. What we've been able to develop is put gallium nitrate on gallium nitrate or a native substrate. That allows us a highly conductive device where the heat and power are uniform so we can run it a lot hotter, five times the competition, which gives us high current density, which transforms to high lumens. It also allows us to use one-fifth the size of an LED chip. As you can see on the screen, um, on the left is a typical uh, slice of an LED, of a, a typical LED, and then you can see ours is about one-fifth the size. You also notice the shape of our LED. It's called a volumetric chip. That allows us to get the photons uh, escaping from the LED in very multifaceted areas. Uh, typical manufacturers, the photons can only escape from the front side. With us, since we use a volumetric chip, you can see that it can uh, release from the top and also uh, the sides. This allows more light to uh, uh, be released. Now we'll talk about optics. The basic law of optics indicates that the ratio of the output area determines how tight a beam can be created. The larger the ratio, the tighter the beam. So if you take the uh, measure the size of the aperture of a lamp compared to the size of the LED source, which in this case soars LED. Since we have such a small LED source, we're able to get the 10 degree beam of our uh, spot lamp. Now when you compare that to other manufacturers, if you measure the aperture of the lamp compared to their LED, because their LED is much larger, it's a short ratio. So the beam diverges and creates a, a lot of uh, spill and shadows. You also notice that in some manufacturers, they use multiple LEDs to get the light out of. When you do this, you're getting different colors and also multiple shadows. And as you can see on the chart, it gives you an idea of some of the, uh, how the beam diverges also with the shadows and the colors. Now I'm going to show you here this slide of the full color spectrum. As I mentioned, we do a full color spectrum. So what does that mean? Well, as you can see on the chart, the full color spectrum of natural sunlight goes from 400 to 700 nanometers. Also, halogen does that. Unfortunately, with both halogen and the full color in the, in the sun, you have uh, uh, infrared IR heat and unwanted ultraviolet. Sora emulates that full color spectrum, but without any of that unwanted IR or UV. So we're able to emulate sunlight and halogen to give you that full color spectrum that allows those crisp whiteness and also the, uh, the R9, the 95 R9s. So let me tell you a little bit about Soren, our product family. We introduced the MR16 when we launched our product in 2012. The reason we did that, this was the most difficult light to get the heat out of. We realized that if we could perfect this, it would just be a matter of time until uh, the other product family came along. So uh, in 2012, we invented the, we, we came out with the MR16. We then, in, last year, we came out with a PAR family, which has a PAR 20, a PAR 30, and a PAR 38. And as you notice from our platform, it's basically the same platform, just different bases. Even our PAR 38 is a long neck PAR with a ring attached to the lens so it fits into the form. The MR16 lamp also has a unique um, snap system. When we came out with our spot lamp, we found that by attaching a magnet to the lamp, we could use it as a vehicle for attaching lenses. So what does that mean? Well, you start out with a 10 degree beam in four different colors, 2700K, 3000, 4000, and 5000, and then you have lenses that can shift the color warmer 
um, by putting one lamp on it or putting a beam spreader on it, which can change the 10 degree beam to 25, 36, or 60, or putting a shaper on it. So you have a, a round beam that can also be angular, or even you can put it into making a, f a flat top to make it like a, uh, a framing projector. Now the snap lamp, the snap lamp uh, accessories are available not only in our MR16, it's also available in our PAR lamps. It's always going to be the spot lamp that's the vehicle for the snaps. So in closing, I'd like to leave you with um, a vital piece of information that can help you moving forward. It's our website, www.sora.com. On the website, we've incorporated uh, compatibility charts, so we've done a lot of the due diligence when you're doing a retrofit job and you want to know if the transformer or dimmer is compatible. We've done all that for you. You can go through by product, both our MR16s and our PARs, and it lists by the product category, uh, whether it's passed or not. It also has IES files on it. It has our spec sheets, and um, pretty much everything you want to know about our product is on there. So to learn more about SORA, visit SORA.com or GoodMart.com. Thank you.